Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg. Today we're taking a look at the Fusion Works RAW case for the iPhone 4. This case sells for $65.99, comes in a variety of colors. You can get it in fire red, steel silver, gunmetal gray, burnt orange, royal steel blue, or satin black. And that's the color we're going to take a look at today. Comes in this metal tin. This is an all aluminum crafted case made from 6061 T4 aluminum. Crafted in the United States of America, all American made, which I do like. I like to support products that are made in the USA. This case is going to draw some obvious comparisons to some of the other aluminum style cases out on the market, but I like this one a lot and we're gonna take a look at it now. So inside the little tin, you'll get a card that has your cases serial number listed right on it, as well as instructions on how you should go about installing the case. You get this little bag. The case actually came in this bag, but I removed it. You'll get the hex tool that you'll use to install the hex screws into the case. You'll get two extra screws in case you lose one of the four that come pre-installed. And then you have the case itself. Now it's a two-piece case. And let me pull it out of the box here, get the screws. I do have it separated just for ease of installation when I go to show you how it actually installs. And uh, I'm gonna pop the screws just in their holes there so it's all ready to go. And there we go. So this is the satin black version. So you can see it's kind of a matted black color. Very smooth, silky-like. Feels really nice as you run it along your fingertips. The case has two sides. I don't really think it matters which way you install it. I think it's probably personal preference because they're both identical except for the holes where the screws go. So if you want to see the holes, you use this as the top piece. If you don't, you use this as the top piece. Everything I've seen shows it with the screws on the back. Again, I think it's just personal preference. So I'm going to show it with the screws facing back. So all you see is the case itself. Now the inside is aligned with a felt material, as you can see there. They do say if you're using a screen shield, you may have to remove some of this felt material in order to prevent bubbling of your screen shield. Now I have both a front and back screen shield on my iPhone 4. When I go to install this, you'll see. Uh, over the past couple days, I've been using this and I did sometimes notice you know, some bubbling of my screen shield and other times I didn't notice anything at all. So I think it's just kind of a, your mileage may vary thing depending on how you install it, how tight you do the screws. Um, most of the time I didn't see any bubbling even with a front and back screen shield on though. And I think this felt is important because it's gonna keep whatever, you know, portion of this metal frame is touching your iPhone um, separated from the antenna band. But I'll show you why I don't really think that even matters once I get it installed. So let's start with the installation. The first step would be to place your iPhone into the top half of the case with the backside facing up like so. So as I mentioned, in this you know, install method, you won't see the screws on the front, you'll see them on the back. So once that's kind of you know, seated in there, you take the top frame and you place it on, lining it up. Then just like you know, many cases that use these hex screws, you simply screw the case screws in. Now what I've found that works best is just to screw them in just till they start to get kind of tight and just you know, offer a little bit of resistance and then to stop. And I'll show you why I do that in a second. So just screw them in until they kind of just stop you know, screwing a little bit and wait. And there we go. And you can see it's not fully seated. So there's some space, some gaps where the screws are. Now what I like to do is kind of look at it at this angle and finish screwing them in. The key here is you don't wanna screw these screws in any more than you have to. Um, you know, you don't wanna tighten it too much because, well, number one, that'll cause bubbling of your screen shield. Number two, you could end up stripping these screws and uh, that would prevent you from getting them out. And then you'll be rocking this case forever. So if you strip them, well, I hope you really like them. I'm sure you could get them out somehow, but it won't be easy. So that's why I like to do it here. That gives me a nice viewing angle of the corners. I can see when they are fully flush and then simply stop. You know, you can obviously just keep screwing them until you, you know, meet just the smallest bit of resistance and then you'll know that it's together. But I think, you know, having it at this angle allows me to get a nice bird's eye view 
of the case itself. So there we go, it's installed. Let me just give it a quick wipe down so I can get some of my fingerprints from the installation off the screen because yeah, it's pretty dirty. Um, it's not a, you know an easy install, you do have to take your time. Once this is on, obviously, this is not the kind of case you're gonna be taking off on a regular basis, um, you know, unless you're carrying that hex tool around with you all the time. It's gonna be on your phone kind of you know permanently. So let's take a brief look at it, uh, all the ports and everything. On the bottom, there's one large cutout for access to the 30 pin dock connector, the speaker and the main microphone. The nice thing about this, it's nice and big and it's not all that deep. I was actually able to use this case with my Griffin Simplify dock. I did have to remove the little plastic insert, the dock adapter, but you know, with this case on, I'm still able to use my docks and that's a great thing. You'll probably be able to fit most third party chargers inside there. On the side, you can see it's one large cutout along the side. So that serves two purposes. Not only does it give you easy access to the volume buttons and the vibrate switch, but it also leaves the antenna band completely exposed. Unlike some other cases of this type that cover that antenna or touch it, this leaves the antenna open, allowing you know, as much signal as humanly possible to reach the antenna. It also keeps the metal aluminum off the antenna band, which is also important. We'll get to that in a little bit though. On the top, you can see another large cutout for access to the sleep awake button, the headset jack, and the secondary mic. Of course, the back is fully exposed, so you won't have any issues with you know, taking pictures and using the flash. I do, again, have a clear screen shield on here. You wanna probably have something on the back of your phone, whether it's a screen shield or a skin, but this does offer a good lay on the table design, both on the front and on the back. You can see the lip you know, comes up over the glass, so you can lay it down screen side up or screen side down and you know, rest assured that nothing on the table is going to reach the glass because it's gonna be sitting above it. Now, the big question I'm sure on everyone's mind is how does this case affect the iPhone's reception? Um, I've been using it for you know, quite some time now, both um, tried GPS, I tried Wi-Fi and 3G, I tried uh, making calls, and the bottom line for me, I'm in my basement right now and I hardly ever get any service. I do have two bars now. The bottom line is, I don't really see any reception issues with this case at all. From time to time, I would see one bar of um, service drop off and then maybe come back on. But um, for me, one bar isn't an issue. And if one bar is an issue for you, then you probably wanna be looking at a different cellular provider instead of looking for a different cell phone case. You know, losing one bar of reception here and there shouldn't really affect your overall uh, you know, reception usability. So the Fusion Works raw case, really sleek looking. Um, if you're looking for, you know, kind of a high end bumper style case, you know, you're into the aluminum, but you were kind of turned off with maybe some of the other cases that might've had reception issues. This is one you're gonna to wanna to check out. It's priced right. Yeah, it's not the cheapest case, but none of these aluminum cases are. You know, it's made in the USA for $65, $66. You're gonna get a really quality product that not only looks good, but doesn't really affect the overall usability of the phone. It offers a good amount of shock and impact protection. You can see just how durable those corners are gonna be if your iPhone lands on the corners. If it lands, you know, flat, um, it's gonna get, hopefully, you know, the impact is gonna be absorbed by the sides of the case and, you know, hopefully your iPhone will be protected. Um, definitely a showpiece case, you know, one that you're gonna wanna show off. And again, keep your iPhone protected with a screen shield front and back and uh, you should be good to go. So that's all for the Fusion Works Raw case. Check the link in the video description to learn more about this case. If you have any questions about it or anything else, feel free to drop me a line. Otherwise, you have a great day.